Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a hidden notifications menu that you can activate and enable and start using on your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, or the S10e, and of course, even the older models from last year or years before. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna lock my phone really quickly, so let me go over here and lock the phone. And I'm gonna double tap to wake up the screen, and then what I'm gonna do is right above the fingerprint, I'm gonna put my finger right over here and scroll up and suddenly there's gonna be a notifications menu right over here that actually stores all your notifications in this area right over here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to activate this and how to start using it and different methods to access it and also to customize it a little bit. Let me log in. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab good luck to use this application. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your um, Samsung Galaxy Store, which is going to be in your Samsung folder. It's called the Galaxy Store. Uh, if you don't see it over here, just search for it. But when you go inside, uh, all you do is you're going to search for good luck. And this is the Samsung's version of the Play Store. So you're going to find a lot of exclusive Samsung apps in here, uh, good luck being one of them. Now, I do want to let you know that good luck is in fact made by Samsung, so this is an official tool. It's not some third party tool. So, anyway, once you install good luck, you simply open it up, and once you go inside, you're going to see all these apps listed right over here. You're going to see a unit section and a family section. What you want to do is you want to go to the unit section, scroll all the way down, and this is the application that you want to download for those notifications menu. So when you tap on it for the first time, it's gonna take you to the actual store. From there, all you're gonna do is you're gonna install it. And once you install it, uh, the first thing I want you guys to do, let me just um, open this up again, is press and hold on it, okay? And then choose add to home screen. So tap on that one, and it's gonna dump that Noti Star onto your home screen as an application. So it's going to be accessible in two different ways. First way, it's just gonna be here. You can have this app anywhere on the, on the screen, okay? So when you tap it, it basically aggregates all your notifications for that day and saves it for you to actually come and review them. So if you accidentally uh, miss any notification here, it's going to be logged into this large uh, list of notifications, okay? And all these notifications are individually swipeable. So once you're done with one notification, you just swipe that away just like that. Okay, you swipe it away just like that. So that's fantastic. Now you can also clear them all and all that stuff. Uh, but once you install this application, again, when you go to your lock screen, you're able to access it right from here. Okay, so this is gonna be independent of your regular notifications. It's just a secondary notification screen that aggregates all your notifications into one place for you to review and all that good stuff. And as you can see, this is just for today. And if I keep scrolling down, it's gonna show up from yesterday. And then when you're done with this whole thing, you can just tap on clear all, it's gonna clear every single notification that it has recorded. Now let's go and see how we can customize it a little bit uh, to make it more personalizable. So you wanna to go to the Noti Star application. Okay, once you do that, you can search for uh, notifications from here if you wanna search them. Uh, for, for instance, if you're looking for a specific email message from a specific sender, you can search it right here. That's the keyword search. Uh, but what you can do is you can tap this button, uh, go into settings, and then from here you can activate or deactivate it. And also you can choose which applications will actually be saving their notifications into the Noti Star application. So right now I have everything enabled, but if you don't want every single thing, you can disable that and maybe just use it exclusively for phone messages, WhatsApp messages, Facebook Messenger, and stuff like that, okay? Now let's go back over here. Uh, other thing you can do is you can do a user filter, so you can tap on this one, and you can actually add a filter. That means you can add keywords and applications to filter uh, from the notifications, so they're not gonna show up right there, okay? It's uh, strange, but this thing can be very useful to get a nice curated version of the notifications that you only want to see. 
You can customize the application and add filters, okay? And then also you can activate the using lock screen mode. So this is the regular app mode, okay? And that one, the one that I showed in the very beginning, uh, right over here, right above the fingerprint sensor, is in fact the lock screen mode, all right? And the one good thing is when you pull this up, the lock screen doesn't turn off automatically until you go back, okay? So you can keep looking at your notifications, no problem. And then if you tap back, you're back in business, log right in. And again, let's go back in here, tap on this one, go into settings. And what else we have here is this, the, the final thing over here is the, how many days do you want to store those notifications unless you click on clear all. So you can tap on this one, no limit. They're gonna be there forever until you clear them or they can be there for seven days, which is a good, you know, that's, that's, I think that's pretty good. So I wouldn't do 30 days, I would pick seven days. So these notifications are going to stay here for seven days. And again, you can individually remove the one that you don't want, and you're not able to manage these the way you can manage them over here, okay? So with this one, I, I'm able to manage these guys with these settings and everything, so it's not the same thing. This is just an aggregate look at all your notifications the way you want to see them. Okay, well that's it. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. This is a fantastic little tool. All right, so have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.